All right, you guys, back at it again with another video. Today, we're gonna be taking care of the kitchen. We gotta get this whole thing demoed, every single thing stripped out of here, ready to do a full renovation on this kitchen, man. I'm so excited. Again, like I was saying before, I wanna take this entire wall out. We gotta check out the support beams later, but first, we need to tackle all this stuff. So with that being said, let's get into it. Well, we contemplated, but I'm really feeling like we finna gut this house. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> we finna gut this house. All the majority of the walls are coming out, especially in here. And we're gonna extend this. I wanna open this thing up from here, all the way over to here. Most likely throw an island in here, yep. Take off these soffits, bring it up, put a new support beam in there. Literally. All new floors, hardwood floors going in here. Pull all this flooring out. Majority new windows. That's another thing for insulation. But overall, it's gonna be crazy. I mean, you see here and look at the living room. Once we open that wall up, that entry will be from here to like probably around over here to see into the kitchen. So from here, this corner, flat all the way through. And then all the way over to here. Yeah. Now you got kitchen and living room together. Yeah. I like it. It's dope. Thinking about taking this one out, this closet. Ripping that out, opening up to this bathroom, make it bigger. We're gonna try to move this uh, hot water heater and the laundry room, this was laundry room. We're gonna try to move all this into the garage or somewhere else. Obviously, we're gonna keep this tub and this shower surround if you guys like it, you know. No, we <laughs> ain't keeping that, that has to go. So, all new lighting, new toilet, new everything. That's a good toilet, actually. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. We could we could actually take a dump on that one. Yeah, that's a good toilet. <laughs> it's not gonna match, but it's a all good right. toilet. Yeah. Put some yeah. recess lighting up in there. Looking yeah. real nice. Oh, yeah. And this is another issue I was talking about before. So you have no light right here, and it's really dark in this pocket because the attic comes right here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to figure out either, we don't really, uh, it's tough, you well, just gotta find the right light. If you move a light to over here, maybe. Yeah. We can jump off this anyway. And this and light switch, more. this light switch also needs to have a two or three way switch on it, a three way switch from both sides of the hallway, because why would you have a light switch in the middle of the hallway? Right. It just doesn't make it sense. Doesn't make sense. So we need to add a new light switch here. So we can run lighting down this whole thing. And one over there, and then lights all the yeah. way down. Smooth, nice can lights or something. Yep. All the way to here. Make it good. The other piece is this, this room. These rooms are so small. You know, they barely 10 by 10s. So we th we're talking about trying to open them up and possibly uh, put 
their own glass sliding doors and creating more room outside. So you can have seating outside and divide it between this room and the other room. So each room get their own um, patio basically for more room for themselves. This one, obviously, they tried to have a uh, jacuzzi inside the house that didn't work out too good. No. <laughs> Ceiling's all messed up. Ceiling's, the ceiling's about ready to cave in right there. So that's gonna have to come out. It's really, it's like, it's gonna be almost a full gut. If not a full gut. Uh, same thing with this. This one's continuous to the other room that we stuck talking about, possibly putting a glass sliding door in here or another door to allow a passage through so they have their own separate patio. Then in this one, Look at this bathroom, it's pretty ratchet, but one of the things my son always talks about is having a sink in the room. He hates that. So we're gonna have to try to figure out how to manipulate the plumbing and everything to get in the shower and a sink, maybe a pedestal um, inside here into this small bathroom because the bathroom's pretty small. You might take a look at it and see what, what we're talking about and how small it is. But it's cool for a master, you don't really need that super big of bathroom as long as there's at least it's there, you know. So that's about it. I mean, it's crazy, this is, this is a crazy, crazy investment, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Uh, the numbers should treat us right by the time we get done. That's the biggest thing is to find them where you can do it and rehab it correctly and not be too far over budget. You know, watch, watch your budget. Especially with him. <laughs> <laughs> DJ loves the budget. If you guys ever do flooring on the sub floor, put down water paper, like a roofing paper, some sort of vapor barrier, and then you'll get lucky like this in the future or somebody else will. Once the floor is rotted out and wet, it won't mess up your sub floor and you can just replace the top layer and uh, you actually win it. Cause it's cheap to buy particle board half inch and put it back down. It just saved us some buying wood that's maybe $60 a sheet to wood is $15, $18 a sheet. So that's a big savings right there considering we got to buy like 30 sheets. You know, that's a big deal. You always want to, you always want to have a, a vapor barrier and overlap it. Like that, they did a good overlap. So when the water get in there, you good. That's, that's just, this is a good plus right here. Yeah, I'm happy about that. So just know that for yourself in the future. Today's uh, special events was finished taking out the subfloors and whatnot, all throughout here and here. We got lucky because the, they had the paper down, so we didn't have to take out all of it. We was able to just take out the first layer. And uh, we got the sinks and vanity and stuff out. We still got to dismantle the bathroom in there. I'm getting ready for that. Um, this room in here. Kind of same thing. 
coins out. Luckily, they put the paper down. So we were able to easily save that floor. Same thing with this room. Obviously, this room was the one that had the water damage that was in the ceiling. So more of the wall had to come out and then the floor has to be checked. We might have to rip out a little bit more because you can kind of see it there on the bottom of the floor. Of course, we got to have the furnace that's into the living room. We got to have that checked on the other side um, pretty soon before we put this all back together because it's easy for them to just go in there at this point. Uh, pretty much, we was able to save half the floor because this half was this bad side. That side's pretty good. No damage. Take you down the hallway, back into the bathroom. We tore out a little bit more in the bathroom, but we still got a ways to go for it. Um, we're gonna end up moving a hot water heater, probably taking this wall out, moving a few things around. Obviously, it's gonna change a lot. You'll see that later. I'm gonna take you into the living room. It's kind of a little full right now, but we plan on changing that, moving the fireplace stuff, uh, all that off, and getting this stuff out of here. This wall right now, We've demoed it. The plan is to end up opening the kitchen really wide. And so this would be really open that way, almost to about right here, to about right there, maybe even a little wider and have the whole thing open. So I have to check so I can get the right supports in there. Obviously got the rest of the cabinets down, water unhooked. Uh, Everything is kind of going crazy right now, but we'll be fixing up all this wire, wiring that they have kind of scattered everywhere because they got wires going places we didn't even think so. But overall, this is the beginning of it, beginning stages of the teardown. Um, and it always has to look ugly before it looks good. So that's today's work. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll do it again. And I'll show you the next step. <laughs>